So I'm gonna review an Amazon review. Okay, so everything came really nicely wrapped in plastic, so it didn't... Uh, the safest rotational device swing swivel. That's a strong claim. When I opened up my package, basically I had rust on my carabiner, literally that was in plastic from very little moisture, I assume, being in there. Scratch up, it's got a nice uh, black paint on this. Mm -hmm. That's anodized. Really, really smooth. When I was playing with it and I compared to my other swivels, it actually is not very smooth. This one spins a lot better. Ozkit does not, does not spin freely. It works, it's fine but we're being picky. And I see that it's sealed in the back here. Well, so... Uh, Clearly looking at the product while analyzing it. Nylon wishing her spacer. Good. And carabiners here have a screw lock. Spring loaded. Notice that carabiner did not close. Pretty critical for a carabiner strength. Instant replay. nice and strong when they're closed. Okay, swing set, maybe, maybe. I'm dying, the enhanced parent-child relationship is what you're gonna get if you buy this swivel. It says super load bearing, suitable for both adults and children. Mm, let's see here. Super load force, that's what it's rated for, super load force. Now, if I break this and get over 2,000 pounds, great. However, 2,000 pounds isn't what you need in order to use it for life-supporting things. You need a safety ratio. You need more than you think you need. This isn't if you're 2,000 pounds, it's as if you're putting on 2,000 pounds of force. And honestly, a hard enough whipper at a gym could break a carabiner if it was only rated for 2,000 pounds. Now in their application, they're just using it for a swing set, maybe not a big deal. But what I have a problem with is how it's advertised on Amazon. How OzKit promotes their products is that it shows climbers on here and aerial silks and things that require life supporting things, pro climbing spec. And if we go down here, we have a 6,750 pound breaking strength, 2,000 pounds working load. Eh, that's not really how this is gonna go. I'll get to that in a second. Where the hell is a climber using a swivel, but whatever. Uh, aerial silks do not have redundancy. This is a single point of failure. So it's very important you have a quality swivel. Now it does meet CE standards and they've got their EN number here. So it met the bare minimum that it takes to be sold in Europe. And therefore we all benefit from that around the world. But then they show things like climbing again, aerial silks again. Not all people are one foot off the ground. Some people are up high, but rope access is a whole different animal that requires dual ropes on everything, very specifically rated gear, not this. Now my biggest issue is not the swivel as much as the fact that it's so poorly advertised. 30 kilonewtons, 1000 pounds. No, no, they actually got it right here, but 30 kilonewtons is not 1000 pounds, it's 225 pounds per kilonewton. My biggest issue is these carabiners. Yes, this is rated to be strong and as you'll see shortly, it is pretty good, but the carabiners are not. They're not rated to anything and they associate a bad product with a medium, okay product. On Shinda, I'm seeing these carabiners show up here on this quote unquote climbing rope. And what's crazy is this says, this auxiliary rope is not a heavy load bearing rope for rock climbing. That I appreciate. Oh, look, that's misleading if I've ever seen anything. Uh, that looks like a climber and it says climbing rope, WTF, tensile tester. That looks like they went through a lot of work to brake test this. Here is another climber and another model who clearly is not climbing. And then here on eBay, we have another rope with these same carabiners. So I went to OzKit's site specifically to find out if somebody is selling these things, packaging them up with something that's not supposed to be with a rated supposedly bomber thing. Again, another climber. Where is this guy using a swivel? Basically, they are selling this device with those carabiners because this is the exact same box that I received mine and you have two quote unquote carabiners. 
And they also sell tumblers and cameras and toys and games in case you were wondering if they are a reputable climbing company. Super impressed that this mechanism did not break. Um, it does not spin anymore. Well, hot damn. I'm impressed. So this is the thing I had a problem with. It doesn't quite open all the way. This technically locks. It just feels really cheap in here. That did not sound like it took very much. Oh my god. And it doesn't go over the carabiner, so... Let me part of that. That is... That is intact, sort of. It's the notch. It just opened up, basically. Oh, that's an interesting graph. WTF. Lucky for us, they consistently suck. Where's the gate? I knew it. That pin was shit. I'm still amazed by this graph. Uh, the coating is coming off. I don't know how much metal poisoning I'm going to get from this, but that's just made to look shiny. It's just shit steel underneath this. So it's a real problem that they are associating something that is not strong enough for climbing use with something that technically is. Now, most of these swivels I have found having used the name brand ones and the off brand ones, they're all typically super good enough. But what is your life worth? As I look here on extremegear.org, the cheapest swivel would be $46 as opposed to $30. Is your life really worth a $15 difference? Is it better to go with a name brand swivel with a reputable company sold by a reputable retailer. I think so. And when something's advertised super sketchy, like a 2,000 pound working load, that means there's a safety ratio above that. The carabiners were breaking approximately at that level. So that's insinuating the entire package is going to be able to hold, ideally, five times more than that, if not seven times more than that. But in this case, it's only three times more than that if you're counting the swivel strength of 6,750 pounds. And this leads me to a retail nightmare story that Chris Becker sent me. He did try to buy quality camp photon carabiners that are rated and they're my favorite carabiners. And he didn't get them. He got these Al Nassar Chinese small, tiny, 16 kilonewton carabiners when all carabiners should be rated for 20 or more kilonewtons. And it's obviously a very specifically made for climbing. And he sent a return request for basically a counterfeit product that was sent to him. And he said received wrong item. The response was next level. Dear buyer, you are not satisfied with the goods. I am sorry, but there is no problem with our products. The quality is very good. Can you try to use it? As compensation, we refund you $20. That is to say, we provide you with this product free of charge. You only pay the freight and you get the merchandise. Is that okay? No, these are counterfeit items, not what I paid for. They are not UIA or even CEE rated and are not safe for rock climbing. They look like toys compared to actual rock climbing gear. I will accept either a full refund or I will be filing a fraud claim basically. However, the goods you need should be difficult to buy at this price. I hope you can buy satisfactory goods as if if you were to buy something great, it would cost more. But ironically, they were charging what you should be paying for these products. It's not like it was a $10 bonus pack. For your information, this product I purchased from you but did not deliver has an MSRP of $44.95, just like they charged. I just purchased a similar product with two day shipping prime for $39.95. I've been climbing for five years and I'm very familiar with prices and safety aspects of this sport specific gear. I respect and love rock climbing enthusiasts very much. I may have been a little rude just now. I am very sorry. I have just arranged a full refund to you. I have just opened a shop. I don't know much about it. 
What else do you need me to cooperate with you? Hmm. Find another career. He did not get a specific clear answer, so he sent another message. Please let me know in writing whether or not you expect me to return this item. Acceptable answers. You need to return this item. Or you do not need to return this item. Well, guess what? He didn't need to return this item. So I got him. Let's break him. 